Hey guys, it's Monica. I'm going to share with you a look-see as to how a wig has held out over the course of years. This is actually a highly requested video by a lot of you that follow me for Wig Talk. And this is one of the very first wigs I ever received. And the one I'm going to show you is Editor's Pick. In the color shaded cappuccino I love this color this is my favorite color I actually have this on my head right now this color and editors pick is probably one of Raquel Welch's uh, most popular maybe popular styles and so so popular that they have recently come out this past year I think last year sometime with a elite version of it meaning hand tied cap you know beautiful fibers and i do not have the elite version of it i just have the regular version i'm going to show you the cap raquel welch i believe is well known for her exquisite lace fronts now this wig i want to say this is probably four years old this is heat friendly fibers and this is what a lot of people are really worried about but anyways the lace front is beautiful it is beautiful and the monofilament is absolutely gorgeous now there is some permatease in this and you can feel the permatease and there is this wig is known to have more high volume meaning a lot of hair but i don't think that it's excessive at all now i'm going to show you the curl pattern i think in my opinion, this was probably one of the very first beachy waves that I saw that I really liked. To me, this is a beachy wave, has a little bit of fringe by the front. Again, this, this is heat friendly, so you can actually heat style this. Because it's a longer piece, you have to be super, super careful with it. You have to be careful when you comb it out, you and you should comb it out after every use. I have worn this wig pulled up i've worn this wig pulled down it is a more of a i consider this a dressy wig rather than an everyday wig so for me i don't wear this every day i don't wear wigs every day i wear toppers almost every day but i don't wear wigs every day um but i wear this a lot and i have worn this a lot and um, this is like if i was going to go to a wedding and i really wanted to have super pretty hair this would be it i'm going to put this on because it's heat friendly, but if you take care of the fibers and you use some sort of silicone spray, you condition it nice with wig conditioner, um, it, you're not going to have issues with this depending on how you take care of your wigs. And yes, they are going to take extra work. So, but yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to put it on my head. <laughs> Voila. So... Even though this wig is old, I still have to, you know, position it correctly on my head. I need to make sure it's gone back the right way. I also need to comb it a little bit. Always use a wide tooth comb on your pieces. So even a well-worn wig is going to require adjustments. You want to make sure that you have it positioned correctly. If you have a wig cap on, you want to make sure that's positioned correctly. Every time I wear this wig on camera, I get compliments on it but I think you can see immediately this is a high volume wig there is a lot of hair on this now I've been told that the elite wig has less hair but I don't know I I, I don't have that to compare it to but this to me is a timeless style and when I play with it and I usually put some of it behind my ears like this a little bit in the front but when I play with it and position it right, it looks absolutely gorgeous, I think. And I love it. I love it. So I believe, I mean, if I were to wear this every day, I'm sure it would have a little bit more wear and tear than it does now. But um, I believe this has held up fantastic for what I think it's going to be. I'm going to look it up. I think it's been like four years since I received this wig. And... Um, I love it. So I'm going to do a turn so you can see. Hopefully the back is not all messed up, but I want to be able to 
to uh, show it to you on the side. This here is my right side. And this is the back. Now I haven't really combed a lot of it out. And this is my left side. But this is a perfect wig to pull some in front of your ears, some behind your ears. The hairline is beautiful. The hairline is beautiful. It is absolutely a beautiful wig. And the color blend, to me, the color blend is perfect. I love the color blend on this. Very much um, my favorite color in Raquel Welch line. Now, I have several wigs in the same color, and um, sometimes the blend is a little bit different or a little bit less blonde. And this is one of the earlier ones, I think, in the shade. So, you know, they may have toned down some of the highlights. But personally, I love the highlights. <laughs> so it has held up excellent. If you see this piece, even though it is the original cap, it isn't the hand-tied cap, if you see this piece, especially if you're seeing it on sale, because there are sales, um, don't be afraid to get it because you've heard the heat-friendly fibers don't last or they need a whole lot of care. They do need a whole lot of care, yes, but um, it's not outrageous. I mean, I just make sure, like when I put this away, I'm going to make sure that I comb through the edges. I may even spray it with... Um, I don't have what I was looking for. I actually have some silicone and some some um, you know wig care sprays that I use and and I use you know certain you know wig uh, shampoos I'm not going to be using a regular shampoo or a regular hairspray so I'm always very very careful on that and again when you take it off you just want to be super careful that you comb through any of the knots on the end and um, I've not had to trim this some people have had to actually trim, like they say that their hair, the hair binds up together, it gets really rough on the ends, but I really haven't had to do that yet. You can put a silicone bath on the ends of these if you want, if they, if you find your hair fibers are too dry or too chunky looking or something like that, and that can bring it right back. But, oh my gosh. So just wanted to take a look-see at this so that you can um, not be afraid to buy it if that's what you want to do. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. I will catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.